Hello everyone and welcome to the Weekend Love Readings with me, Miss Machiste. We are going to be looking into the weekend love energies for each sign. We're going to be looking at your energy, their energy, and the mutual energy. This is my you versus them and mutual spread. So... We're going to be looking at yours and theirs and the mutual. Please keep in mind that you could end up on their side. They could come up on your side. For some of you, this reading may resonate backwards. So please assign the roles as you wish. And just keep that in mind if you're watching or cross-watching. Okay? Also, in the description box below will be the timestamps for this video. Click on the sign time that you wish to watch and YouTube will jump you to that point in this video so you don't have to rewind fast forward whatever the case may be if you're new here welcome please do not forget to subscribe and I do have November love readings going out as well which will be you versus them mutual energy I'm changing it up so if you liked the way this reading was definitely subscribe because those releases will be going out November 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. So, we also um, are going to be talking about the Blue Moon and Taurus, um, but I first want to thank my current subscribers for being here and for supporting my channel and just being super, super amazing. Um, I'm really grateful for all of you. You have no idea. Um, to my current subscribers, my new subscribers, or the ones who are just watching this and haven't hit that subscribe button yet, um, please don't forget to like the video as well. It really helps my channel grow so I can meet and connect with many, many more wonderful, beautiful souls like yours. So we're going to talk a bit about this blue moon in Taurus. So if you're interested, hey, if you're not, um, timestamps below, you can skip this. Okay. So this is going to be on October 31st on Halloween, full moon in Taurus, a very, very special time. This is called a blue moon because this is the second full moon that we are going to be experiencing in the month of October. So, you know, blue moons are very rare. You know, that saying once in a blue moon, this is where it comes from. It's very astrologically rare for there to be two full moons in one month. Full moons are the, the indication of releasing and healing things that no longer serve us inside or externally to ourselves. So, um, blue and full moons, you know, both of them together, they are amazing opportunities to release and heal. And full moons have always been seen as moments in time where a lot of the astrological energy comes to a peak, comes to a climax. So, you know, a lot of things that's been pushed down for a long, 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 long time are going to start coming out. For some of you, it may be scary, but for others of you, it's going to be liberating. Okay? So... You know, this moon is happening on Halloween and while the sun is going to be in Scorpio. Scorpio is a sign that is closely connected to the spiritual world. So this blue moon is a very obvious invitation from the other side that they want the people here on earth to connect with them. So if you are spiritually inclined or you have a passed on loved one that you want to connect with or whatever the case may be, this is an amazing time to receive messages from them, to receive insights from them, heighten your intuition and really get spiritual, you know, um... Halloween is also on the day, um, the same day as Samhain is, which is a holiday that some witches celebrate to honor the dead. So it's a very spiritual time. You know, Scorpio, they rule death in the tarot. So a very transformative time as well. So use these, use this inclination from the spirits and from the deepest, deepest parts of yourself to transform and go through that rebirth that Scorpio energy is all about. So, you know, a lot of us, we're scared to change. We're scared to transform. But, you know, it's needed. And us as humans, we don't realize in the moment, but, you know, we have human nature that we adapt to anything. We are amazing beings. Our mind is a very powerful tool. 
So how many times in your life has something changed and you thought this is going to be the worst time in your life, the worst thing ever, and then you look back five years later and you're like, thank God that happened. So keep that in mind when things change for you, not just around this weekend, just in general. Um, one more announcement, my manifestation series and my connecting to the other side series, um... Spirit Guides, Pass on Loved Ones, is going to be released in November. So if you're interested on learning how to manifest, like truly, truly manifest. Because this is going to be a series. It's not going to be one video, okay? Because it's not that easy, okay? Um, and we're also going to do a series of how to connect to the other side. So if you're interested in that, subscribe, ring the bell so you're on top of all of those releases. I do have the Moonology deck that I will be getting guidance at the end of each spread for each sign to see what the Moonology deck has in store, especially for this weekend with this blue moon in Taurus. So let's get into the readings. I'll stop my chit chat. I almost started preaching to you guys for a second. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. This is the weekend love readings, girl. You better start picking up that deck. Okay, so... Here we go. We're going to start off with my Tauruses. We're going to start with the Earth signs, my Tauruses, my Virgos, my Capricorns. So, Spirit, can I please have for Taurus? For Taurus? Can I please have Taurus's energy for this weekend? Show me Taurus's energy for this weekend. What will be Taurus's energy for this weekend in their love lives? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign, Spirit. For my Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in their love lives. All right, Taurus, we have the Page of Wands, the Sun, and the Wheel of Fortune. Taurus, someone new sparking your energy. Somebody new sparking your interest here. Um, the Page of Wands is fire energy. We have very strong Leo energy on your side here. Taurus could be dealing with a Leo, but... I do see some passion happening. I do feel like my Tauruses are going to be feeling the spark within, feeling the passion within. You're going to be receiving clarity this weekend on something. And this clarity is going to help this connection um, move in a direction or move your love life in a new direction. So Taurus, you're heading in a new direction here. So let's see what your person that you're connecting with is doing. So, Spirit, who is Taurus connecting with this weekend for in their love lives? The Page of Wands, too. That's like my... Um, could be talking to somebody on the internet. All right, Taurus. We have the Two of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, and the Two of Wands. Definitely talking to somebody on the internet. Or will be having a conversation that's going to be bringing you a lot of clarity. I feel like, Taurus, there's a very high possibility that the person you're connecting with, um, they may be juggling you and another person or keep, all right, don't, don't, don't freak out just yet. Or they may be having to deal with other things right now that they have to give their time and attention to with the two of pentacles here. Um, I really do feel like they may have a lot of work to do. They may have some family matters to attain to. They may have some school work to get done. Whatever the case may be, they're trying to find balance on their end. I do feel like they are very um, passionate towards you with this Eight of Wands. Very sexually attracted towards you as well. I feel like this person wants to talk to you. I feel like this person wants to move forward with you. But I feel like there's something that's causing them to be um a bit busy right now with the two of pentacles like i said it could be a whole nother person or it could be they have other things that they have to deal with um but the passionate energy is here the attraction is here we have the two of wands as well at this person's energy they're waiting to see what's going to happen with this connection so let's see spirit can you please give me the mutual energy with taurus and this person a lot of fire energy definitely could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. Could be an Aquarius, a Scorpio, or a fellow Taurus, or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So let's get the mutual energy for Taurus for this weekend with their person. 
Okay, Taurus, let's see. We have the Queen of Cups, the Page of Swords, and the Empress. Okay, so I do feel like you both are kind of contemplating how you feel about each other. I feel like for a lot of you Tauruses, this is definitely a new person, or something has just re-sparked with somebody. Um, could be you have just re-sparked the spark in your connection. Um, definitely in an intimate way. Um... Or, Taurus, I feel like you could be definitely meeting somebody new. And I feel like you both are contemplating what you want to do about your emotions with this person. With this Queen of Cups, could be a Cancer, um, Scorpio, or a Pisces. But you're both contemplating what to do with your emotions with each other. So that may be why there's so much passion because you're both just thinking about giving your emotions. I feel like you both have had your fair share of being hurt and you're not, you, I feel like you both aren't really sure, but there's interest here. I feel like you both are watching each other with this page of swords in the mutual energy. I feel like you both are watching each other's social media. Sorry, Taurus, but it's in the mutual energy. You may not be watching this person, but... It's so strongly that they may be that it's coming out in the mutual energy, but uh, for some of you Tauruses, you never know. Maybe you do type their name in the search bar, okay? So we have the Page of Swords. Could be an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. This is watching. This is communication as well, but, you know, I don't really like the way the Page of Swords communicates. So, you know, you may have a lot of immature communication with this person, you know, like... Um, neither of you really say much, but I can see that. I can see that happening. I feel like the flirtation and the attraction is, you guys are good with that, but communicating and giving your emotion, it's like, you're not good with that, but things are changing with the wheel. This person is choosing the new path as well, and it looks like you both are choosing new, the new path on growth. So this could be growing this connection or, you know, you and you and this person, Taurus, you may just be very focused on your growth right now. You know, like I feel like there is there's a lot of passion. There's a lot of attraction, but I feel like the communication and the emotion is not catching up with it or hasn't caught up with it. Um, And I feel like you both are like, all right, let me just focus on me and hope that this connection unfolds naturally since maybe us forcing it is not really working or maybe um there has been some sort of energy of not knowing what to do or trying to find balance in this connection and it's not really happening but I do feel like you two are watching each other from afar checking each other's social medias I feel like you both want to have growth with each other so it's very interesting I just feel like you know, the communication's got to get better, and so does the emotional expression. I feel like you both, I feel like you both really don't express yourselves emotionally. Taurus, um, this person I feel like is going back and forth on expressing themselves. And you are just like, well, I'm just going to go with my wand because, Taurus, you may be feeling that, you may feel comfortable giving your wand Opposed to giving your emotions to a new person just yet. Or maybe this is a past person that you're not just ready to give emotions to just yet. So let's get a Moonology card to close out this reading here. But there is growth in this connection. You both see it. So there is going to be a change in direction. So let's hope that means a change in direction for more emotion and more communication. We'll see when we do the November reading and we get more in depth. So definitely check that out, Taurus. Um, they'll be posted within a couple days. So, Moonology for Taurus. Let's see. Taurus, we have no way. The blue moon. That's why you have the Wheel of Fortune and the Two of Wands. Who, Taurus, the blue moon in your sign as well. Believe in the impossible. If you thought that this connection or if you thought your love life was not going to take a positive spin in the right direction, think again. Wow, Taurus. I can't believe you got the blue moon. And that's what's happening this weekend for Taurus. 
Wow, Taurus. You could be dealing with a Libra. Um, you could be dealing with um, any sign really here, but the you two were just very stuck on passion, very flirtatious, or, you know, Taurus, you may have been single, 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 and you just may have been keeping, you keep meeting people that just want to be intimate or just want to do things um, in a more sexual way, and you may be like more like, oh, well, you know, I don't know how I feel about that or whatever the case may be. Whatever was happening before where there was like little emotion and not that great communication, it's changing. And Taurus, I almost feel like neither of you um, thought that this would happen, but no wonder why these are down here. Because I'm like, I feel like you both have hope in this connection and you both are looking at the future of what this connection could be. And you both are going to let it unfold naturally opposed to putting the pressure on it. And guess what? That's when things change and that's when things miraculously change. With that blue moon, Taurus, yes, this is beautiful. So Taurus, your love life is about to change drastically. Um, or this connection that you've been in or this relationship that you've been in or that or this connection that, you know, maybe has been on and off for a bit. Um, and Taurus as well. For some of you Tauruses, this person may definitely be juggling another person. But with this Two of Wands, they make a choice. And I feel like they're choosing you, Taurus. And that may be why Believe in the Impossible is here as well. You may have not thought that. And that's the clarity you get with the sun and the happiness you get with the sun. Taurus, beautiful energy here. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. So we're going to move on to my Virgos. Hello, hello to my Virgos. Hey to my Virgos. Sun, moon, rising, Venus sign for Virgo spirit. For my Virgos, how are my Virgos feeling this weekend in their love lives? Spirit, how is my Virgos feeling this weekend in their love lives? Spirit, please show me how are my Virgos, sun, moon, rising, Venus signs feeling this weekend in love. All right, Virgo, the hermit, there you are right away. Hold on, Virgo, let me just get this down here. Okay, let's see what's next. We have the Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, there you are again, and the Page of Cups. All right, Virgo, I feel like you're going to be receiving some sort of emotion this weekend some sort of love this weekend you could be the one that is giving it or you could be the one that is getting it I do feel like you're gonna be the one who is getting it um but you know I do feel like Virgo you're very focused on yourself you almost may be like not even looking for love and you find this person um I feel like they're gonna open your heart a little bit we do have the hermit Virgo, this is you um, reflecting and reviewing things. The Queen of Pentacles could be dealing with a fellow Earth sign. But this is you really focusing on your pentacle, focusing on your foundation, and really, really... Oh, I hate when the light does that. Really, really contemplating on who you want to give your stability to or who you want to give your time and energy to as well. And Virgo, I feel like you got somebody interested in you here, so... Spirit, who is Virgo connecting with this weekend? Who is my Virgos connecting with this weekend? Could be a water sign with that page of cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Who is Virgo connecting with this weekend, Spirit? Okay, Virgo. We have the Ace of Cups. Yes, yes, yes. The Three of Wands. The Ten of Wands. Yeah, Virgo, I feel like this person over here is interested in you. They have a cup of love for you. I feel like with this Ace of Cups, they want to know how you feel. I feel like, you know, Virgo, you, I feel like you're very closed off to this or you didn't really see it just yet. Or this person has been preparing their offer. Because we do have the Three of Wands. So this is preparation. This is preparing to take the lead on something. So Virgo, if you haven't heard from this person yet, this person feels the energy. They feel the emotion towards you. They're preparing on how to come towards you. And they are going to put down this block 
and end up coming your way. I feel like this could be new love. This could be renewed love for some of you, Virgo. This could be somebody from the past returning, apologizing to you, wanting to renew the emotions between the two of you. So let's get the mutual energy between Virgo and the person they're dealing with this weekend spirit. We have a lot of, uh, we have water energy, yeah, Ace of Cups, two, Page of Cups. Um, fire energy as well, Three of Wands with the Ten of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So let's get the mutual energy for Virgo. Virgo, if you're in a relationship, I feel like you two have been a bit on the, um, not really expressing yourselves emotionally to each other. Or I feel like Virgo, this person... I feel like they have a lot more feelings for you than they show it, and then they show you. We have the Five of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, and the Seven of Wands. Okay, Virgo, so I feel like you could absolutely be connecting with somebody who has left you out in the past, but you both are disappointed in this connection. You both are disappointed in love. So, Virgo, you could be connecting with a new person. Like I said, you both have been abandoned. You both have been disappointed. And um, for others of you, Virgos, if you're in a relationship, I really feel like there's just been a lot of neglect to this relationship, especially the emotional part of it. But... We do have the Seven of Wands too, so I feel like you both want to fight for this connection. I feel like you both want to continue to fight for the growth of this connection. And Virgo definitely could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You know, Virgo, I feel like some of you could have recently just gone through an ending. And I feel like the person that you're meeting has recently also just gone through something that they're turning their back on as well. And that they're healing from. And it's like when they meet you, they can finally put down the burden of closing off a lot. And when you meet them, you can finally come out of hermit and give some of your love, open up your heart a bit. But you both are still defensive. You both are still choosing your words wisely, not really wanting to let each other in that that much. So, Virgo, whether you're single in a relationship or dealing with an on and off connection, whatever the case may be, I feel like you both have been through it. You both have been sad. You both have been abandoned. You both have been disappointed. You both have been trying to heal. Virgo, I feel like you may have been healing a bit more than this person has been. But I feel like this person is I feel like this person is more ready to open their heart than you are, Virgo. But I feel like when you meet this person or if this person is returning back into your vicinity, definitely could be somebody that has abandoned you in the past or you has you have abandoned them, Virgo. I feel like it's finally going to it's going to it's it's weird like I feel like it's going to open your heart a bit, but I still feel like you both are going to be defensive and not really wanting too much too much openness just yet. So let's get a Moonology card for Virgo. For my Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Virgo, I feel like this person is ready for love. I just feel like you may not fully be ready for it yet. So we have, yes, a new romantic cycle begins. New moon in Libra. Beautiful, Virgo. Yeah. There is somebody new interested in you for sure. Um, or Virgo, like I said, you two are both feeling disappointed. You two are both feeling abandoned by this connection. So you may be starting a fresh new cycle within this connection. Or like I said, Virgo, you have just been healing. This person has just been healing. And a new romantic cycle begins for the both of you where you both have been upset. You both have been neglected and... With that Libra energy, that's finally bringing back balance into your love life as well. So there's definitely a new cycle of emotion coming where you're going to feel some emotion. So for some of you Virgos, if you've been like, wow, I don't even know the last time I had feelings for somebody. I am feeling that way. That this person is ready to open their heart. You're ready to open your heart. 
I feel like when this person approaches you, and when I say that I feel like you're doing more healing than they have, it's because I see you still in Hermit. So you may just have been there for longer than them. But this person, they've been through a lot of things too. And they may, this person I feel like has been blocking out love as well. But when they meet you or when they rekindle with you or whatever the case may be, it's like they can finally put down the burden of blocking out energy and blocking out love. And for my people in relationships, man, y'all are just really, really to yourselves right now. And spirit is saying, look, there's hope for this connection, but y'all, you guys need to fight for it. Are you going to fight for this new romantic cycle? Is this person worth it? Yeah. Do they think you're worth it? Yeah. So Virgo, new energy coming in, no matter single separated or in partnership. So thank you for being here. Thank you for watching Virgo. I'll see you very, very soon. And for my Capricorns, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sign, Spirit. Hello for my Capricorns. How you doing today, Capricorn friends? We're going to be looking at your love life for the weekend. So let's get into it. Spirit for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sign. What are my Capricorns feeling this weekend, Spirit? Please show me. How are my Capricorns feeling this weekend? What's going on with them? Spirit, how are my Capricorns feeling this weekend? What's going on with them? All right, Capricorn, let's see. We have the Six of Swords, the Moon, and the Two of Swords. Capricorn, interesting energy here. Are you hiding your feelings for somebody? I feel like, Capricorn, you have feelings for somebody. Keep in mind, you know, Capricorn, you this person could be you, but we didn't get their energy yet. Um, so just wait. Um, but Capricorn, I'm going to just say what I see. I feel like you have feelings for somebody. You're not really letting them in. Or somebody has feelings for you. They're not letting you in. And you're, like, mirroring them, maybe. You may be like, all right, well, if you're not going to open up to me, then I'm not going to open up to you. I do feel like you want to move forward with this person, though, with the Six of Swords. I feel like you two may live at a distance from each other as well with the Six of Swords. But there is progress forward for the both of you. But I don't feel like you're opening your heart to them here, Capricorn. But I feel like you have feelings for them. But I don't feel like you're fully open right now. So let's get their energy here for my Capricorn spirit. Who is Capricorn connecting with this weekend? Who is Capricorn connecting with this weekend spirit? Who is my Capricorn connecting with this weekend? All right, Capricorn. We have strength, the devil, and the star. Oh, your person coming out heavy. Um... Capricorn could be a Leo, could be a Capricorn, or could be an Aquarius. Um, ooh, Capricorn. I feel like this person, um, I feel like they're holding back too. I feel like this person looks at you as their wish fulfillment with the star. They want to have hope in this connection. Um, but I feel like they don't have hope because you're not expressing yourself oh my gosh yeah you guys are mirroring each other here capricorn you don't have hope oh i'm sorry you don't have hope because they're not opening up and they don't have hope because you're not opening up but you both want to move forward with each other amazing all right so let's see let and now that was easy let's get the mutual energy capricorn your person's coming out as strength so they're holding themselves back they're pulling themselves back um, they're trying to control themselves, right? But while they do this, they have a lot of negative fears and doubts or possible a lot of codependent energy on what's going to happen with this connection. But they look at you as their star, their wish. They wish this connection works out. They wish you open up to them. Let's get mutual energy here, Capricorn. 
Keep in mind, Capricorn, like I said, you could be on their side. They could be on your side. We do have the devil on their side, so definitely could be your side over there. But they may just be thinking so strongly about you because I, I feel like all oh, I, I feel like this person really, Capricorn, they really want you to open up. They really do. And I feel like you want them to open up too, but I'm kind of feeling like you may be a little bit more closed off than them. So let's see what here we got. Let's what we got here for Capricorn Mutual Energy. All right. We have the Nine of Swords, the Two of Cups. Oh, Capricorn and the Sun. Leo energy very strongly. Capricorn. Oh my goodness. The Nine of Swords. You're both overthinking this connection. You both are letting your thoughts take over about this connection. Possibly letting the negative thoughts take over as well. Maybe some of you have sleepless nights. Can't stop thinking about this person. Look at this. Oh my gosh, Capricorn. So when I do the uh, the, um, the you versus them spread with the mutual energy, I will read up and down and I read across. If you're new to my channel, you know I read up and down and across. I mean, I'm sorry, if you're a current subscriber, you know I read up and down and across. If you're new, you don't know that, but that's how I do it. But let me show you this row here, Capricorn. You're coming through as the moon, hiding your feelings. The mutual energy. You both want to give your love to each other. This person with the devil having fears about their feelings towards you. It's the same thing. You two are mirroring each other here. Thank you, Spirit, for that. I felt that right away, um, even just with your energy. So we have the sun here in the mutual energy, Leo energy. There's going to be clarity. There's going to be truth. You both are going to really, really, really have happiness in this connection this weekend. Beautiful energy. You're not paying attention. Like, not that you're not paying attention. You're kind of not really looking. They're kind of not really looking. And you're both having anxiety over the person that you're dealing with not really, like expressing themselves you you both are having this issue with each other and i feel like neither of you have expressed it um but with the two of cups here definitely you both feel the same mirroring each other's energy and the sun is here as well so that means that there's going to be clarity on this connection happiness is coming there's going to be truth spoken and it's going to be beautiful here capricorn i love this so let's get a Moonology card for this weekend. Um, Capricorn, this could be a new person, a past person, the person you're with, whatever the case may be. You both are mirroring each other. You're, this person does something, you'll do the same thing. You don't want to be the one to say you like them first. They don't want to be the one to say that you they like you first. It's That's what it is. So let's get a Moonology card for Capricorn. But Capricorn, there's going to be clarity on how this on how you both feel for each other. So beautiful. I love that Capricorn. So we have, yes, Capricorn. Expect powerful change. New moon eclipse. This is it, Capricorn. You may have been dealing with this person for quite some time. You two may have been holding back your energy or not expressing yourselves to each other for a very, very long time. Um... Or, you know, this could be somebody from the past, too, that you just never expected to come back. And you both felt the same way. Capricorn, beautiful. Really feeling it could be anything single, separated, and in partnership. You've both just been mirroring each other, but not with expect powerful change. I saw it changing. I saw it with the sun and the mutual energy. Clarity is here. Truths revealed. Expect powerful change. Things are going to be shocking. And Capricorn, you really didn't think this person felt this way. They didn't really think you felt this way. Clarity is here and it's beautiful energy, Capricorn. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This is a perfect example of what this blue moon and Taurus will do. 
You're hiding, they're hiding. Guess what? The Scorpio energy connected with that Taurus blue moon is going to bring everything up to the surface, and that's what's happening. I love it. I love it, Capricorn. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you very soon. All right, and we're going to move on to my air signs. Hello, my air signs, my Geminis, my Libras, and my Aquariuses. Spirit, can I please have for Gemini? How are my Geminis feeling this weekend? My Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Spirit, how are my Geminis feeling this weekend? Please show me how are my Geminis feeling this weekend, Spirit. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Spirit, how are my Geminis feeling this weekend? All right, Gemini, we have the Two of Wands. The Six of Swords and the Devil. So, Gemini, I do feel like you have recently just chose a new path. You want to look into the future of your love life. You're releasing the past with this Two of Wands. You are really letting go of what no longer has served you. You have made the decision to turn your back on things that just don't matter anymore. And you're ready to move forward. You may be traveling to see somebody. Somebody may be traveling to see you with this Six of Swords. You may be healing with somebody as well. We have Capricorn energy with this Devil energy. So there may be a lot of fears and doubts over what you have just done. Turning your back on the past and choosing a new path. You may be very doubtful on your on where you're going or if this was the right path to choose so that very interesting here gemini because i don't see like too too much let's get their energy spirit who is gemini connecting with this weekend who is my gemini's connecting with this weekend Okay, Gemini, we have the Seven of Wands, the Nine of Wands, and the Lovers. There you are, Gemini energy. All right, Gemini, so whoever's coming out right now, like this person's being very defensive towards your energy. They may be like choosing their words wisely. They may be blocking you out. Honestly, Gemini, I feel like the person that you're connecting with, some of you may have not connected with them yet. With the Lovers here, I feel like this could be somebody from the past. Or this person's going to come your way and you're going to have to make some sort of choice. I do see you making a choice. So, very interesting. I do feel like this could be somebody from the past returning for you, Gemini. Um, I feel like they've been blocking you out for a while. And they really have been defensive towards your energy for a while. But I do feel like they are now wanting to come towards you. Or you are wanting to come towards them. Let's get the mutual energy here for Gemini for this weekend. For my Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, Gemini. We have the Strength card, the Knight of Wands, and the King of Cups. All right, yeah. I definitely feel like this could be for sure somebody from the past. I feel like... Gemini, this is somebody from the past. I feel like you may have turned your back on them with this Two of Wands. Could be a Leo with the Strength card. So um, with them coming through as a Seven of Wands in that row, I do feel like if you turned their back, if you turned your back on them, um, they definitely may have put up a fight to be with you. And I feel like they may have given up because you moved away from them. But I feel like they're coming back around. Um, keep in mind, Gemini, this could totally be vice versa. You may be, ha may have been the one that put up a fight, um, and this person turned their back and moved away from you, and they're coming back around towards you. But, I, it could go either way, but I'm really feeling like Gemini was the one to choose the new path away. But it's almost like you didn't want to, kind of, with this devil. Like I said, when you chose the new path away from this energy, it was like, you were still having fears and doubts that this was the right path for you to take. So I almost feel like when they come back around, you're going to feel fearful and doubtful again as well. Because we do have the Knight of Wands here. So there is attraction. This person is going to build up some sort of courage to come your way. Um, and I do feel like with the King of Cups, I do feel like there's a lot of emotions here as well. 
Um, for my people who are in relationships, I do feel like there is a need for you guys to make a choice to get rid of all of the nasty energy that you two have just been through. Arguments, jealousy, possible cheating scandals in the past. Gemini, I feel like the person you're connecting with, they want to fight for you. They want to fight for this connection. Or they have fought for this connection before. And now maybe they're coming back because they want they want you again. Um, Gemini, keep in mind, like I said, you may have been the one that was fighting for this connection. But I feel like, Gemini, if you're in a relationship, this person really wants to fight for your connection, for this connection. And I feel like some of you, Geminis, you're just tired of it. I just feel like some of you, Geminis, you're tired of the issues, you're tired of the drama, and you just want to choose a new path and heal and move forward instead of backwards. So I feel like, Gemini, this person may be coming back around for you to, to compromise what has happened in the past. Maybe you can move forward with them. Maybe you choose not to. But Gemini, somebody wants to fight for you. That's what I'm feeling. Somebody, they they really, really um, have emotions for you. I feel like you have emotions for them too. But I almost feel like a lot of you Geminis are very, like, weary of this person. So let's get a Moonology card from Spirit. But they're coming. There's a reconciliation coming around here, Gemini. I feel like this person could have been extremely toxic to you as well. And maybe that's why you're overthinking they, when they come back. Because I see you, Gemini, like, oh my goodness, what am I going to do here? So let's see. Let's get a Moonology card for Gemini. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Strong, Leo. Um, it could be an Aquarius. could be a fellow Gemini or a... Um, Libra, or it could be a Sagittarius as well. So we have here a time to give rather than take new moon in Virgo. Yeah, so I definitely feel like somebody's coming back around. You know, Gemini, you're in a, you could be in a relationship and somebody's coming back around and they need closure or something. I do feel like there's going to be some sort of compromising um, talk. Some sort of communication. I really feel like there has been a lot of a lot of fights or something with this person. But there is a need to compromise with this person now. I feel like they're coming back to compromise with you. There may be some apologies. I feel like the attraction between the two of you, the sexual attraction, is extremely strong as well. Um, so I do feel like, honestly, Gemini, you may be in a relationship or, um, you know, Gemini, vice versa. This person may be in a relationship um, and they're coming to your energy and you're having a lot of negative thoughts because they're already in a relationship, you know. Or Gemini, you may be in a relationship, they're coming around and you have a lot of negative thoughts and feeling of attachment because you're in a relationship. Nonetheless, somebody's coming around to your energy, Gemini. I feel like you're going to feel very tied to dealing with them. So I do feel like it is somebody from the past. And I feel like this person wants to fight for this connection. Or they, ha like I said, they have fought for this connection. And maybe they're coming back because they need closure or something along those lines. But with the King of Cups here, there is going to be an emotional exchange between the two of you. There is going to be a talk. So thank you for being here, Gemini. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you very soon. All right, and we have my Libras, spirit for my Libras, sun, moon, rising, Venus signs in their love lives for my Libras, sun, moon, rising, Venus in their love lives, spirit for Libra, well, how is my Libras feeling this weekend? Spirit, please show me how are my Libras feeling this weekend. Hey Libra, let's see what's going on with you guys. We have Strength, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Queen of Swords. Libra, okay, I see you very on top of your game. I feel like you are very, very focused on your money. I feel like you're very also focused on having a very strong mental mind, um, having mental power as well. 
And you know what, Libra? I feel like a lot of you have been, whether you're single in a relationship or separated or whatever the case may be, you've really been putting a lot of emphasis on yourself, Libra, and bettering yourself as well. I feel like the person that you're dealing with sees you in this light where they just look at you as very powerful, very reliable, and very stable. And I feel like they look at you as having a lot of strength too. They feel like you're very strong. You have a lot of willpower. So Libra, who are you connecting with? Let's see. Who are my Libras connecting with, Spirit? Could be a Leo, could be an air sign, could be an earth sign. Spirit, who are my Libras connecting with this weekend in their love lives? All right, Libra, let's see. We have the Hierophant, could be a Taurus, the Ten of Cups, and the Queen of Wands. All right. Libra. You could be married to this person. I feel like if you're married to this person, Libra, I feel like they're very happy with you. I feel like they um, look at you very stable. They look at you very... Um, very logical, very analytical. I feel like they are very passionate towards you. Um, I feel like they see a lot of commitment with you as well. You may share a child with this person, but if you're not with this person, Libra, I feel like you're meeting somebody. Um, I, you could be meeting them at work, but this person, they really find a lot of happiness with you or they will be finding it with you. Let's see. What's the mutual energy here for Libra? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. We have the nine of pentacles, the seven of wands, and the moon. Okay, Libra, I feel like there are three stories here. We'll start with the first story. Libra, you could be connecting with somebody who is a flirty person, honestly. You could be married to them. You could be in a connection with them or not. I feel like they are very, very uh, friendly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like they're very friendly. I feel like they act single almost. I feel like, what the heck, Libra, is going on here? I feel like the person that you're connecting with, if you're in a committed relationship with them, like commit, 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 I feel like you're dealing with somebody who is extremely friendly. They're very, very friendly. Libra, I feel like you have a problem with this. I feel like you do not like that they're friendly. I feel like you do not like that they act single or that they just talk to everybody all the time whenever they feel like it. I feel like you do not like this, Libra. But are you saying anything about it? I don't really think so. Keep in mind, Libra, this could be vice versa. You could be doing this to somebody else. You could be the friendly energy and the person you're connecting with, you know, they see you as being almost like they're one. And I don't know how they feel about, like, the friendly energy here. I really feel like this person that you're connecting with, Libra, I'm going to read it as is. I really feel like they're very friendly. I feel like you have a problem with it. And you're not saying anything just yet. Um, I feel like you both are just choosing your words wisely with each other. Because you don't want this relationship to, to end. And maybe that's why, Libra, you've been very focused on you because this person just, they may be focused on you and everybody else. So, could be dealing with a Pisces or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn or a, a fire sign. So, okay, for my Libras who are single, I feel like you've been really focusing on you. Um, I feel like the person you're connecting with, uh, with this Nine of Pentacles, I feel like they're single as well. But I feel like you both are so focused on, um, I feel like there's a high possibility. You know, I feel like some of you Libras, I'm going to just say it, you may be connecting with somebody who's married. And that's why there's like this choose your words wisely energy that I'm feeling. I'm feeling that you just, that you both choose your words wisely with each other. And 
with the moon here, there's hidden energy. There's hidden emotion on both of your ends. So Libra, you're hiding how you feel. They're hiding how they feel. Um, I do feel like for single, single Libras, I really feel like you may be connecting with somebody who's married. Or if they're not married, then they may be at your job. Or they may be somebody that you um, grew up with. Or somebody that has just gotten out of a marriage. And you're both kind of standoffish towards each other. You may be standoffish towards them because they were just in a very strong commitment. Or, you know, they may be feeling standoffish towards you because they were in a very strong commitment. And this person is just wanting to be friendly. You know, they want to be friendly. They want to be out there. They have been confined and committed for so long um, that they finally want to explore. But I feel like they're interested in you here, Libra. But it's almost like they're not fully ready for commitment yet. And for the last story that I am feeling for my people who are in some sort of separation, I feel like I'm really just getting this vibe that like you both are just choosing your words wisely. You don't like there's like some defensive energy and I really feel like somebody's way too friendly here. And I feel like that's the problem. But why is nobody talking about it? Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, there's some emotions hidden here, Libra. I really feel like you are connecting with some with somebody who's just friendly. I feel like they're very friendly energy and I feel like you have an issue with this or you may not really like it, but you're not saying anything. And this person isn't really acknowledging the fact that they're being friendly to everybody else and they're not acknowledging the fact that it's bothering you. Or, you know, Libra, you may have said something and this person didn't care and that's why you're not saying anything now and being very defensive for it. But, you know, the moon is what's hidden, but I feel like things are going to come out no matter what here, Libra. Um, I really feel like for that third story, I know I said out the third story, then I went back to the second story. I feel like, Libra, you could be meeting somebody that finds you very attractive. They find a lot of happiness with you. They find a lot of love with you. But I feel like you're so focused on yourself that they don't really express this to you. Or vice versa, Libra. You may be connecting with somebody new who you look at as being your one or somebody that you can marry or get together with. But you're not expressing it to them. Sorry, Libra. I know it was a lot of messages here, but there's a lot of things coming through here that are just all over the place. So for some of you Libras, this just may be an indication of how your love life is going right now all over the place. So let's get a Moonology card for Libra to close out the reading. Could be dealing with a Taurus as well. So we have your commitment is being tested. First quarter moon. I feel that. Absolutely I feel that somebody, um, your commitment is being tested. And with that coming out here as well, I do feel like somebody's married for sure. Somebody, somebody's resonating with that. And that's where the commitment is being tested. Um, for others of you, I feel like this commitment in the connection is being tested. Like... Are you committed to me enough where you're going to respect me and not, I don't know, be friendly and flirt with everybody? Or vice versa. Are you committed enough to this relationship where you're going to stand your ground and say something that you're bothered by this? So you're definitely being tested right now here, Libra. And I can feel it because I can feel this, this readings like just all over the place. So you may be absolutely feeling all over the place right now in your connection, but spirit wants you to know that things will change and things will be coming out and there will be more truth coming. But I'm really feeling like somebody should speak their truth here, Libra. It could be you. It could be them. But thank you for being here, Libra. Thank you for watching and I'll see you very, very soon. All right, and to my Aquariuses, spirit for my Aquariuses for the weekend and their love life. How are my Aquariuses doing this weekend? Show me my Aquarius's energy spirit for this weekend. Please show me Aquarius's energy for this weekend. All right, thank you, spirit. 
Okay, Aquarius, we have the Seven of Pentacles, Judgment, and the Page of Pentacles. Aquarius, you've been waiting. You've been waiting, waiting, waiting for something. You've either been waiting for an apology, you've been waiting for new love, you've been waiting for somebody to come returning back. Whatever, I don't know, you know, Aquarius, you could have just been waiting for just something. You may have just been staring at this bush of pentacles like is one gonna come out for me or not and guess what spirit is saying yes aquarius i'm going to bring you a pentacle that you have been waiting a long time for so here it is the page of pentacles some of you have been waiting a long time for new love some of you may have been waiting a long time for an apology for a fresh start for a reconciliation could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn very strongly there. Aquarius, beautiful energy here. So let's get who you're dealing with. Who's my Aquarius is dealing with spirit? Who are my Aquarius is dealing with for this weekend in their love lives? Aquarius, look at you. Spirit has definitely been acknowledging your patience and... It's literally like they're coming down, blowing the horn and saying, Aquarius, thank you for being patient. Here is your pentacle. Beautiful. So for whoever Aquarius is connecting with spirit, can I please have their energy for this weekend in their love lives? For Aquarius, who are they connecting with? All right, Aquarius, let's see who it is. What are they coming through with? We have the Queen of Wands. The Six of Swords and the Seven of Cups. Okay, Aquarius. So I feel like you could be dealing with a Leo or a Sagittarius or a Aries. I feel like this person is very sure of themselves here. Aquarius, I feel like this person is very confident I feel like this person knows their value and they know their worth. Very creative, passionate energy. Um, I feel like this person wants to move forward with you. This person wants to um, see you and heal with you here. So if this is somebody from your past here, Aquarius, definitely somebody wanting to heal with you and compromise. And I feel like, you know, Aquarius, let me start with the first story I'm feeling. I feel like Aquarius, you're dealing with somebody who wants to heal with you. They want to compromise with you, but they're just confused on how to do it with this seven of cups could be a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but Aquarius, this person wants to heal with you. This person wants to give you something they want to apologize to you um this could be a new energy that wants to come towards you aquarius somebody wants to come towards you and they are confused on how but they're gonna figure it out they are going to figure it out because judgment day is here for you aquarius and you are going to be receiving some sort of offer here from them so let's see here, Spirit for my Aquarius is for the mutual energy for Aquarius. Aquarius, I really feel like this could be somebody from the past returning, apologizing. You could be apologizing to them as well. <clears throat> or this may be like a mutual thing. Let's see what the mutual energy has. Spirit for my Aquarius is and the person they're connecting with. Mutual energy, please. Okay, Aquarius, we have the Magician, the Page of Wands, and the Tower. Wow, Aquarius. So yeah, somebody from your past is returning. I feel like for some of you Aquarius, this could be new energy um, that's coming into your energy that you may have known from past lives, possibly. Um, so let me start with the first story for my Aquarius is I really feel this story the strongest. Um, I feel like somebody from your past is coming back. I feel like there is, I feel like there is so many ways that you and this person can compromise. I just feel like neither of you kind of know which way to go. Um, cause the magician is here in the middle. So that is showing that no matter what tool you and this person choose to compromise and to heal is going to work. Okay, 
we have the page of wands as well. So I do feel like there was an idea here or there will be an idea of like, hey, look, this is how we can resolve or hey, look, this is how we can really make this happen. I feel like there's a lot of passion between the two of you. I feel like this if this is somebody from the past for this story, yes. I feel like this person is very attracted towards you. I feel like you're attracted towards them. But I feel like the spark is being re-sparked. And it's almost very shocking to both of you that there was even a possibility that this connection could transform, could renew, could mend, and could heal. So I definitely feel like Aquarius, you both are going to be shocked at the fact that this connection is able to heal and move forward in a way that I feel like neither of you thought it would. So beautiful energy, definitely compromising with somebody from the past for a lot of you Aquariuses. And I feel like this person has been extremely confused Aquarius on how to compromise with you. But the page of pentacles is here. So this is showing a fresh start, a new start, a lucky start for this connection. Others of you Aquarius who are single, 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 you've been waiting for love for a long time. You may have put a lot of effort and energy into people and you've just been waiting for you to reap the rewards of that. And Spirit is saying, Aquarius, it's here. It's time for you to reap these rewards. You are going to sit in this magician energy. I feel like some of you Aquariuses could have manifested this new energy your way. You know, Aquarius, I feel like you're connecting with somebody that you're going to be extremely attracted to. Um, I feel like they're going to be very attracted towards you. They may live at a distance from you and it may cause some confusion on how to make this work or how to find time for each other. But I do feel like you are going to fi figure it out with this person. And I feel like honestly, Aquarius, this person, I feel like they're very sure of themselves, but I feel like this person is very emotionally confused on which way to go. So I feel like that's why they're very shocked when they meet your energy too, because it's kind of like um, their fantasy is like coming to life. Like I feel like this person is very sure of themselves, but they're kind of like in daydream mode where they're like just fantasizing what could happen or what could be. And then all of a sudden they, they meet you and they're like, whoa, did I, did I? make this up? Did I envision this for myself? Did I manifest this? I feel like you both have manifested each other. So cool there for my single singles Aquariuses with this new energy. So let's see what we have for the Moonology deck here for my Aquariuses. And for a lot of you Aquariuses as well, if you're in a relationship, I do feel like this is finally a second chance with somebody. Finally healing with somebody. Finally Moving forward with the person opposed to moving backwards. So let's get a Moonology card for my Aquariuses, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. All right. Aquarius, we have a, person, a, a personal issue reaches resolution, full moon in Cancer. Wow. Definitely compromising with somebody here. Definitely healing with your partner, compromising with somebody from the past, um, or finally getting that very much needed, very much waited for pentacle that may have been giving you an issue. You know, you may have been feeling like very personally, you know, you may have been taking it personal that you haven't been finding love and spirits just been like, no, 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 no. Aquarius, I've just had I just had something coming for you. I was just doing something behind the scenes for you here with this judgment card. Cuz spirit's bringing this to you. Beautiful. I love this reading here, Aquarius. You're compromising with your person or you're you're mending a connection from the past, starting fresh, starting new, or you're finally finally finding somebody and You've been waiting for so long, Aquarius. I love it. Beautiful energy. Thank you for being here, Aquarius. Thank you for watching. I'll see you very, very soon. All right. And let's move to my water signs. My Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. 
Hello to my Cancers. We're going to start with Cancer. All right, Spirit for my Cancers. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for my Cancers. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And their love lives for Cancer. How are my Cancers feeling this weekend? <clears throat> How are my Cancers feeling this weekend, Spirit? All right, Cancer, let's see. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Ooh, Cancer! The Ace of Cups. And the Eight of Wands. Cancer, this is amazing reading. Well, at least on your side already. Um, the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, the Eight of Wands. Cancer, someone's interested in you. Somebody finds you... Like, they find you extremely attractive with this Eight of Wands. Definitely conversations coming in, communication coming in. You have love offers coming in. Could be a water sign you're dealing with. You have reliable and stable offers coming in as well. Could be an earth sign you're dealing with. I feel like for a lot of you Cancers, you're hearing from multiple people. A lot of you Cancers have a lot of energy coming towards you this weekend. A lot of people are interested in you. A lot of people want your love, your time, and your attention. So let's see what's coming through in the mutual energy. Who is Cancer connecting to? Who is Cancer connecting with this weekend, Spirit? Who is Cancer connecting with this weekend? Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. Who are they connecting with this weekend? All right, Cancer, we have the Emperor Aries energy, Ten of Pentacles, and the Five of Swords. All right, Cancer, I feel like this person that you're dealing with, I almost feel like they may be a boss, like they may have their own business, or they may be very high up at their job. I feel like, Cancer, this person is very focused on their money right now. And I almost feel like, Cancer, they're so focused on their foundation and their stability that they're not really giving a lot of time and attention to this connection. And I feel like you may be meeting new people like that aren't this person. Or this person is like looking at you as have, or, uh, spending too much time on your like finances and your it's very interesting here because hold on let me get the mutual energy and then I'll see more I may clarify their side for cancer spirit can you be the mutual energy for cancer because I see you receiving multiple offers here cancer so let me see six of pentacles Six of Wands, Wheel of Fortune. Okay, Spirit, why is the Five of Swords on this person's energy? Why is the Five of Swords in this person's energy, Spirit? Why is the Five of Swords in this person's energy? I think I know why, but I don't want to, like, go and do a whole thing. Ten of Swords. Cool. All right, here we go. So, Cancer. Could be connecting with a, uh, a fellow Cancer, a Pisces, a Scorpio. Could be a Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn, an Aquarius, a Gemini, a Libra. Cancer, balance is going to be restored in your love life, but I feel like the person that you've been connecting with has been spending a lot of time and a lot of energy on their finances, their family, their foundation. And I feel like this person is going to finally be ready to take the lead and bring balance back into this connection. With the Six of Pentacles, they want to bring back balance to you. Um, they want to be generous with their time. I feel like you're going to be receiving attention here with the Six of Wands Oop. from this person. I feel like for a lot of you, Cancers, I feel like this person is looking at you as somebody that they can be with in the long run or you're looking at them as somebody that they could be with in the long run but honestly cancer i really feel like you're getting attention from multiple people and you know i see it in the mutual energy i feel like this person gets attention from multiple people as well but i feel like this weekend they want to give it to you 
Um, but I see you. Can I don't know why I feel this, Cancer. I feel like you're getting multiple people coming your way. We have the Wheel of Fortune in the Mutual Energy as well. So there is going to be a change to this connection, a positive change to this connection as well, where I feel like this person or you are going to be giving more time to this connection that's coming through. Cancer, like I said, you have multiple people coming your way. But this is just the person's energy that's coming through the strongest. So I feel like this is the person that you are interested in the most. And I almost feel like there's been a lot of nasty energy with them with this Five of Swords to the Ten of Swords. And I feel like this could have to do with the fact that they weren't giving their time to you and that they were giving their time to other people, possibly, or giving their time to work or family or friends and not to you and that's why I wanted to clarify here because I'm like wait everything looks amazing except for here but that's why I see this is changing this five of swords ten of swords this five of swords energy is over with the ten of swords and there's an ending to this five of swords energy there's an ending to the arguments there's an ending to the nasty energy and there's going to be a change for this connection and I feel like you know Cancer, this person, if they weren't really devoting their time and energy to you before, I feel like they're going to start. I feel like they're going to give you attention and appreciation this weekend. And I really feel like they're going to really make you feel good. Um, a, a lot of communication coming for you, um, Cancer, this weekend. And I really feel like you have options. So let's see. Let's get a Moonology card for Cancer. Cancer, you could be dealing with any sign. The strongest I have here is Aries. Um, yeah. Everything else is a minor. Um, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Taurus, or a Leo, or a Scorpio. So let's get a Moonology card for Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Hey, Cancer, we have balance, spirituality, and practicality. Full moon and Pisces. Okay, so this Cancer is the energy of understanding when something is real and when something is a fantasy of yours, you know? So I do feel like... Spirit is going to do something this weekend for you to help balance this out. Um, spirituality is being connected to the other side, being connected to the spirits. Practicality is understanding that we can be connected to them, but we are still here on earth. So it's almost like spirit wants you to continue to ground yourself, but don't remember, don't forget to dream as well. Um... With balance, spirituality, and practicality as well. Could be dealing with a Pisces there with Pisces full moon coming out. But there may be a lot of emotions as well around this time or towards this person. And, you know, it definitely could be because of this five of swords. Because they may cause you some conflict or they may have caused you some conflict. But the conflict is going to end. So spirit wants you to really, really start balancing the fantasy of this person or the fantasy of love and what's really happening here. So, very interesting here. You got a lot of offers coming your way, Cancer. So, be ready to receive. All right, Cancer. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye now. All right. So, hello, hello to my Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. How are my Scorpios doing this weekend? Happy birthday to all my Scorpios out there. Hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful birthday season and you continue to have a wonderful birthday season. Oop, sending you a lot of blessings and a lot of love to all my Scorpios. All right. So, let's see, Scorpio. How are you feeling this weekend if the cards want to act right for my Scorpios? Spirit for my Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How are my Scorpios feeling this weekend? Can you please show me how is Scorpio feeling this weekend? All right. We have the Six of Pentacles, the Emperor, and the Eight of Swords. 
Oh, right. Scorpio. So I definitely feel like you are, you want to take the lead on your love life. But I don't really feel like you know how, or you're not really seeing how you could do this. Hmm. Could be dealing with an Aries, um, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. I see you very much in your head, but like it's almost like there's no reason for you to be because Spirit is really trying to connect with you and let you know, Scorpio, that you are this Emperor energy. Doesn't matter if you're man or woman, but you are in control. And I feel like a lot of okay, that's what I feel. I feel like a lot of you Scorpios feel out of control. Like you're not in control of your love life when you really are. So let's get your person's energy here. Or you may be dealing with somebody who's very controlling and they're making you feel out of control. Spirit for my Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Who are they dealing with this weekend? All right, let's see who it is, Scorpio. We have Strength, could be a Leo. The Empress, could be a Libra. And the Page of Swords, could be a Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Okay, so let's look at this here. I know some of you Scorpios already realize this, but we have Mr. Emperor it's right next to Mrs. Empress. This is your divine counterpart, Scorpio. I feel like spirits brought this person here for you and I don't know how I feel like you don't you're not sure how to navigate this. Um I feel like this person is very nurturing. I feel like this person is very strong as well. You know, I feel like that's what it is here. I feel like there's a power play. I feel like you both want to sit in control. Um Scorpio, this person sees so much growth with you. This person sees so much abundance with you. But it's like they're watching you from afar almost. And I feel like it's because you're not really open right now with this Eight of Swords. You're like closed off a bit. Um, let's, let's get the mutual energy here, uh, Scorpio, and then we'll get more in depth. What's the mutual energy with Scorpio and this person for this weekend? Eight of Pentacles, Five of Swords, and the Ten of Cups. Okay, so you may work with this person, or work may be a factor here. I feel like, Scorpio, the work situation could be a factor for you more than them. Um, but there is definitely some sort of work situation that's causing you two to not be able to be in each other's energy a lot. So maybe conflicting work schedules here, Scorpio. Eight of Pentacles could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But I feel like you both want to work on this connection. I feel like you both want to put work into this connection. But I feel like there is other things that have to be dealt with. I feel like more on your side, Scorpio. Like you have more things to deal with and that's why you're coming through as the Eight of Swords because maybe you're unsure on how to balance this very strong spiritual connection with all the stuff you have to do on top of that. But the Ten of Cups, you, can, you and this person look at each other as being your Ten of Cups, your emotional wish fulfillment, your one the person you can be with, grow with, have children with here with this Ten of Cups. But there is some sort of external third-party energy that's causing a lot of defeated energy between the two of you. There may be a lot of arguments, Scorpio, with you and this person. There may have been arguments over like not making enough time for each other or conflicting work schedules or the fact that maybe you live far away from this person or whatever the case may be. But I really, really feel like, you know, I'm feeling like this for some of you Scorpios. You may have been dealing with multiple people and this person here who is your divine counterpart is just like pulling back and watching you from afar. And that's maybe why you're in this Eight of Swords as well. You don't really know how to get out of this. You don't know who to choose. You don't know who to go to. But this person, man, oh, they are going to be like... It's like you hit the jackpot here, Scorpio, but you don't really see it. You don't see that you hit the jackpot, but you did, or you will be. Definitely could work with this person for sure. 
for sure. Or have worked with this person before. Um, it could be new. This could be the person you're in a connection with, you know, like you two are just having conflicting schedules, not really able to be in each other's energy, but the, you know, the love is there and there is growth. There is potential for this connection. Things will get better. I feel like the communication needs to improve as well. So let's get a Moonology card, Scorpio. You could be dealing with any sign, specifically um, Aries or Libra or Leo. So let's get a Moonology card for Scorpio Spirit, for Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, for Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. All right, Scorpio, we have you and your loved ones are safe, new moon and cancer. Okay, you know, this could be the factor for some of you Scorpios as well. Maybe you're taking care of family or friends or um, this person has to take care of family or friends. Or needs to stay home or something along those lines. You know, we are in quarantine. So there may be some sort of restriction on your side, Scorpio. Where you have other... I really feel like it's Scorpio who has other things to do. I feel like this person's just waiting for you. They're watching you from afar. They want to work on this. They have love for you. So, Spirit, can I please have um one more Moonology card for Scorpio? Because it's their birthday. Okay, Scorps, we have a win-win outcome is forecast, full moon in Libra. Yeah, I felt that. I'm like, I feel like the overthinking, the arguments, the defeated energy, the overthinking or the, um, the mental prison is all in your head, really. I really feel like this connection could be the one for some of you Scorpios. If only you let it in though, Scorpio. So thank you for being here, Scorpio. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye now. Okay. And let's move to my Pisces spirit for my Pisces, sun, moon, rising Venus spirit for Pisces, sun, moon, rising Venus. What's coming through for my Pisces in their love lives. For my Pisces spirit in their love lives. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. How are my Pisces doing this weekend? Show me how my Pisces are doing. Okay, my fellow fishes. Let's see what's going on this weekend. We have the Two of Swords. The Page of Wands. And the High Priestess. Ooh, Pisces. Using your intuition, possibly. Or definitely, for some of you Pisces, some of you Pisces may be needing to listen to your intuition more. All right, so with the High Priestess coming through here, Pisces, I feel like you have gotten some intuitive insight in your third eye that is about to take form this weekend that you are not seeing is possible for you. So maybe it's meeting new love. Maybe it's re-sparking with somebody from the past. Maybe it's something within this current connection. But you've gotten the intuitive insight on this connection, but you're not you're refusing to see that you got it. Because this page of wands is here. That is new information from spirit, but this is also somebody new or something new wanting to come towards you. So maybe somebody new is coming towards you or somebody wants to re-spark the spark with you here. Pisces could be dealing with a Virgo, a fire sign, or an air sign. Who is Pisces connecting with? But Pisces, you're going to sit in this power of the high priestess because you're going to get the intuition, the intuitive insight, and it's going to happen in your 3D. So you're going to feel the power. So Spirit, can I please have who is Pisces connecting with here? For this weekend, who is Pisces connecting with? For this weekend, Spirit. Alright, Pisces. Who are you connecting with? We have Strength. The Knight of Swords. And the Hanged Man. Ooh, Pisces. Could be a Pisces. Okay, Pisces. I feel like the reason why you are doubting your intuition is because this person hasn't come towards you yet with Strength. Um, they will be. Could be a Leo. This person has been regaining their strength and their willpower to come your way. And here they come. 
the Knight of Swords. Very fast communication coming in for you here, Pisces. Definitely could be on the internet. Text messages as well with this Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. And we have the Hanged Man. So this person I feel like has been stuck on how to come towards you. Or stuck on what to say. And they're finally figuring it out here. Could be dealing with a Pisces. Alright, let's get the Mutual Energy Spirit for my Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Keep in mind, Pisces, this could be vice versa. You could be on their side. They could be on your side. I do have Pisces strong energy on both sides. So let's see here, Spirit for Pisces. Can I please have the Mutual Energy for the weekend for the Pisces and the person they're connecting with? For Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, here we go. Pisces, we have the Ten of Cups. The Ace of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. Pisces, definitely a very, very happy weekend here for you. You just don't see it coming yet with this Ten of Cups. But I'm telling you, some of you Pisces have already gotten intuitive insights of this happening. You just kind of didn't believe it. Spirit's going to prove it to you here as to why you should be listening to your intuition. We have the Ten of Cups here. Emotional, full-on emotional happiness is coming your way and this person's way. Ace of Pentacles could be receiving this from a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. You both want to start fresh with each other. You both want to build this connection. You both want to commit, bring stability and reliability to this connection. And I feel like, you know, with this Knight of Pentacles, this could have been a long time coming for a lot of you Pisces on even receiving any type of offer like this. Or some of you Pisces, like I said, you may have just been waiting for quite some time for this person to come your way. Or this could be the connection that you're in that has been moving very, very slow. But Spirit wants you to know that slow and steady is going to win the race. There is going to be offers given that is going to help this connection grow and help this connection be more stable and more reliable in your life here Pisces so beautiful energy you definitely have somebody coming your way I feel like this person has been stuck on what to say or how to come towards you I feel like some of you Pisces as well you may have been stuck or you may have just been very pulled back and there's finally going to be movement here and this person, I feel like they've, they've been stuck for quite some time on how to say how to come towards you. And they're changing their mind. They're becoming unstuck. And they want to bring you stability and reliability. But I feel like some of you Pisces, this could be the person that you're connecting with. And this may have taken a while to come. So let's see what Moonology card comes out for Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for Pisces. All right, Pisces. We have communication is key, new moon in Gemini. Yup, new communication coming in. I'm telling you, Pisces, this person has been very stuck on what to say to you. Um, I feel like you've been picking up on this intuitively as well, but you have just been not trusting yourself. You've been not trusting your own intuition, and spirit is going to come through and say, Pisces, this is the reason why I need you to trust yourself, because you're right, because your intuition is on point, and here they come proving to you why your intuition has been right. So some of you Pisces, you may have been intuitively picking up that new energy was coming your way, or somebody from your past was going to reach out, or that something was going to be said in this connection, and you're right, and it's here, and you will see it for yourself, Pisces. Could be a Gemini with that card as well. So, thank you for being here, Pisces. I'll see you very, very soon. Bye now. All right. For We're going to do my fire signs, my Aries, my Leos, and my Sagittariuses. All right, spirit for my Aries. Hello, hello to my Aries. Let's see what... What's coming to my Aries this weekend, Spirit? My Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign for my Aries. How are my Aries going to be feeling this weekend, Spirit? Can I please see how my Aries are going to be feeling? All right, Aries, let's see. We have Strength, Hot Card, Hierophant, Nine of Wands. All right, Aries, I feel like you've been working hard. I feel like you've been pushing 
I feel like you have been really putting your all into this connection or you've really been putting your all into yourself um, recently. Um, you could be in a connection um, or you could just be very focused on you right now. You could be dealing with a Taurus or a Leo. So Spirit, can I please have, who is my Aries connecting with? Can I please see who my Aries are connecting with? The energy of who Aries is connecting with. Okay, we have the King of Cups, the Five of Cups, and the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, Aries, so I feel like the person you're connecting with here could be a water sign with this King of Cups. I feel like they have emotions for you, but I feel like this person is very emotionally mature. They may not drown you in emotions, but they are... They're feeling very emotionally drawn to you they definitely have feelings for you here and if this is a new person Aries I feel like this person is just extremely emotionally mature they have a very high emotional stability um we do have the five of cups though as well so I almost feel like if this is a new energy Aries I feel like they do have high emotion emotional stability yes but they have had their fair share of being disappointed in love um, and for others of you, Aquarius, um, why did I say Aquarius? Um, Aries, I do feel like, um, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Um, for a lot of you, Aries, I feel like the person you're connecting with, you know, I feel like they feel so very strongly for you, but I feel like they may have lost hope in this connection or they're losing hope in this connection, but I feel like they're going to find the hope in this connection this weekend with this Ace of Pentacles. I feel like they're going to want to grow. They're going to want to continue to build with you here, Aries. So I do feel like, Aries, if you're in a connection, I feel like this is a connection that you two are just... I feel like you go back and forth with having hope in this connection and thinking this connection is doomed. Having hope in this connection, thinking that this connection is doomed. I feel like, Aries, either you still want to fight for it or you feel like you've been fighting for it too long. Um, this could be the other person as well, but let's see what the mutual energy is here. I feel like the person also is a bit, um, tired of fighting or disappointed in the fighting or the conflict. So let's get some mutual energy spirit for Aries and the person they're connecting with. But I feel like this person wants to continue fighting for this connection. I feel like Aries, so do you. And I feel like there is going to be a renewal of more reliability and more stability for you both. For others of you, Aries, you're definitely connecting with somebody who definitely had their fair share of emotional disappointment, and I feel like they're ready for commitment. I feel like they're ready for something real, but Aries, I don't know. You may be very focused on you, and you're not ready, so let's see. Let's see. The Magician, the Chariot, and the Four of Wands. So let me get into it for my Aquarius who are in a relationship. You know, I feel like there's a lot of growth for this connection. I just feel like there is a lot of, there's a lot of need to move forward. But with this magician energy, you two can heal this connection in any way. You just have to start it. You have to start healing. You just can't say, okay, we're going to get better and don't put the effort and energy into trying to get better with them, right? So Spirit is definitely highlighting that you two um, you may live at a distance to this person. There may be some travel involved. We do have the chariot here, cancer energy. There is victory for this connection. There is victory for your love life with this person, Aries. Um, but you do have to start believing in it. You have to believe in this connection. I feel like you two find a lot of happiness together. Um, you may be married to this person or in a very strong commitment. But I feel like you two have a lot of happiness and a lot of fun together when you want to you know but it's like when things are bad they're bad but when things are good they're really good and I feel like for a lot of you Aries you know I I really still feel like this connection is gonna continue and there is going to be more growth and you two both want to continue to fight for this and see the hope in this connection for others of you, Aries, I feel like you've been very much focused on you, maybe blocking out love, actually. I feel like you're going to be meeting this energy. You may meet them out. You may travel for something and meet them there. 
Um, I definitely feel like you both have been trying to manifest love into your lives or, you know, without even realizing Aries, you putting all this effort and energy into yourself and possibly spirit with that Hierophant. Also, Aries, you may have been putting a lot of energy into regaining your strength and becoming stronger. And without even realizing it, you manifested somebody here. Um, so let's get a Moonology card here for my Aries. You're definitely either meeting somebody new or you're really finding a lot more growth in your connection. So let's see for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. Could be any sign here. I have specifically the Magician, which would be Gemini or Aries, Leo, Taurus, Cancer. Uh, really could be anybody. We have you and your loved ones are safe. New moon in Cancer. That may be where you have been putting a lot of the time that you have been putting into yourself here. Maybe you were focusing on your health or your family or something like that. Let's get another one. Definitely strong cancer energy here. I feel like that one just like, yeah, that's a great thing to know. Like we always want to know that us and our loved ones are safe, but with that one, it's kind of like, okay, like, and what else? You know, like it's like not much, much less towards full on of your love life, more of confirmation that you are healthy and everybody around you is healthy, which is always amazing to get. But we also have here, don't let pride get in the way, full moon in Leo. So you may have Leo in your chart. They may have Leo in your their chart. I do feel like there's a lot of pride here, um, especially for my people who are in connections or for my Aries that are, you know, very standoffish towards love right now. Spirit wants you to let down your guard and let love in because I feel like this person, like I said, they had their fair share and they have really regained their emotional body and they're ready to offer commitment. They're ready to offer stability or this person that you've been dating or been dealing with, you know, there's been disappointments on their end, on your end, and they want to keep fighting for this connection. They see the growth in you, Aries. They see the growth in this connection. Don't let what happened in the past get in the way and be very prideful and egotistic. Like if you're going to give this connection a second chance, you're going to give it a second chance. If you're not, then you're not. But a lot of you Aries are definitely going to continue fighting for this connection as well. So Aries, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye now. And for my Leos, for my Leos, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. For my Leo's spirit, for Leo, we're going to be looking at this weekend for my Leo's sun, moon, rising, Venus sign. Hello, hello to all my Leo's sun, moon, rising, Venus. How are my Leo's doing this weekend, spirit? Can I please see how are my Leo's doing this weekend? Can I please see how are my Leo's doing this weekend? What's going on with my Leo's sun, moon, rising, Venus with Leo? What's going on for my Leo's? Hey, Leo, Ooh, we have the world, the queen of swords, and the two of pentacles. Hey, Leo, I do see you contemplating. I see you having to make some sort of decision here with that two of pentacles at the bottom. Um, with the world here as well, I feel like, Leo, you have recently just closed out a cycle in your love life. I feel like... You are a lot stronger in your mental body and your emotional body now with this Queen of Swords, but you could also be dealing with an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. But I feel like, Leo, you are on top of your game right now. You are analytical. You're logical. You're thinking with your mind, not more or less with your heart. And, you know, the Queen of Swords, yes, yeah, she's detached a bit, but, you know, she's she's still open. She'll, she'll listen to what you have to say, you know, so... Leo, I feel like you closed out a part of yourself that was no longer serving you because you were letting your mind take over, and now you're not doing that. But I almost feel like, Leo, you have somebody to... you. I feel like you may have people to choose from with this Two of Pentacles, or you're trying to find balance in the connection that you're in here with um, work, family, friends, and actually being in this connection as well and giving your time and energy to this connection may live at a distance from this person with the world. 
So let's see here. I see you going back and forth about something, Leo. Let's see. Who is Leo connecting with, Spirit? Who are my Leos connecting with here? Who are my Leos connecting with this weekend, Spirit? Okay, we have the Nine of Swords, the Fool, and the Hangman. Leo, if you ended something with somebody, this person wants a second chance and they are freaking out over it. They may have told you this and that's what may you may be going back and forth about. Um, I feel like this person is very stuck. They're in their head. They're overthinking this. Um, I feel like for a lot of you, Leos, like I feel like there's been an ending to a part of your connection or the cycle of a cycle in your connection. And I feel like this person is very, very, very in their head and stuck about this new beginning. Like, is it going to work out? Are we going to be okay this time? And for others of you, Leos, I really feel like you cut someone off and they are going crazy, overthinking. They want a second chance. Could be dealing with an Aries, a Pisces with that hangman, Aries with the fool, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with that nine of swords. But Leo, somebody's extremely in their head about you of starting new, of starting fresh. So it could be anybody here. And Leo, I see the balls in your court on this decision. So let's see. What's the mutual energy here between Leo and the person they're dealing with? Leo and the person they're dealing with. What's the mutual energy between Leo and the person they're dealing with? Okay, we have the star, the emperor, and the two of wands. All right, Leo, honestly, I do feel like there is a lot of healing that needs to happen in this connection. A lot of healing. I feel like the issue with this connection was that both of you wanted to be in control with that emperor energy there. Um, definitely could be dealing with an Aries Leo or maybe you have strong Aries in, their char in, your, in your chart or in their chart. So I do feel like with this emperor energy in the middle, there's extreme power play here. Um, extreme power, power play, like this connection, like you wanted to be the person in control. They want to be the person in control. It just wasn't working out. And I honestly feel like Leo, you were the one to cut it off. And I feel like this person is wishing for you. This person is hoping for you. It's kind of, it's weird, Leo, because I feel like you wish and hope for them too, but you may not want them to know this. Um, yeah, I feel like you both with this two of wands, you're both going to turn your back on the past anyway and look to the future of this connection. So you're both choosing a new path ahead, but I feel like this connection, Leo, you and this person, you're extremely stuck. Um, it's like this person is very stuck and in their head over if this connection is going to have a fresh start. And you're just going back and forth on whether you want this connection to have a fresh start. Or if you want to renew with this person. For others of you Leos, I really feel like you may have new energy coming in. That you're just unsure if you want to start something new. I really feel like you're really unsure on if you want to start something fresh. I feel like you have just been through a lot of stuff that you're just like, all right, let me just sit in this Queen of Swords energy, male or female, doesn't matter. Let me really get my mind right. I don't know if I want to deal with new energy yet. Like, there's some sort of energy here where it's like, you're, you're just unsure right now, Leo. And the person you're dealing with is stuck because of your uncertainty and... It could be new, old, or your current person, like I said. So here we go. Let's get a Moonology card for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Leo, we have, it's time to take action, new moon in Aries. All right, Leo, you may have some Aries in your chart. They may have some Aries in their chart. Someone's got Aries somewhere because Aries coming out. Um, but that's also coming out because there is action needed to take. So um, I definitely feel like you, it's interesting because this emperor is in the middle. So it's like you both want to be the controller of this connection. 
but I really do feel like the ball is in your court, Leo. And I feel like, you know, I'm going to clarify this last row. Spirit, clarify this last row. Leo's energy, mutual energy, and their person's energy. Please clarify this last row. Leo's energy, mutual energy, and their person's energy. All right, Leo. We have strength on by you. Eight of Pentacles and King of Swords. Woo, yeah, you guys are not doing nothing. Yeah, Spirit is saying, hello, it's time to take action. Is anybody going to do anything about this? I feel like you both are fo focusing on yourself. I feel like this person is going to find their power here. I feel like this person is going to become the King of Swords and change their mind against this going crazy over you here. I feel like they're going to start putting work into themselves. I feel like you're putting work into yourself. Um, but there's a choice to be made, Leo. I feel like you're the person who has to take action because we do have strength here coming through, showing that you're controlling yourself. And I feel like you're the person who has options or you're the person who has a choice to make or whatever the case may be. For some of you Leos, like I said, it could be totally vice versa. They may be the one on your side. You may be on their side. They may be the one who has the choice to make. But no matter what, Spirit is saying, action hasn't been taken for too long. It's time to do something about this. And something will be done for sure. I have a feeling some, this person is going to say something to you, Leo, causing you to feel like rushed with your decision. Very interesting. All right, Leo. Um, could be dealing with a Leo, like I said. Very strong fire energy. I have Aquarius here. Um, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah. I just don't have any water um, except for Scorpio, but you could be dealing with anybody, honestly. So, bye, Leo. Thank you for being here. See you soon. All right, and last but not least, my Sagittariuses. Hello, hello to my Sagittariuses. Let's get your energy for this weekend in your love life. Spirit for my Sagittariuses for this weekend in their love life. What's going on with my Sagittariuses? Sun, moon, rising, Venus for Sag in their love life. All right, here we go. Here we go, Sag. We have the Eight of Wands. The star. The knight of wands. Ooh, Sagittarius. Wish fulfillment on your end. And a lot of it coming. Definitely could be hearing from uh, multiple people with this eight of wands. Definitely a lot of communication coming in for you. We do have the star. So uh, wish fulfillment. Hope, restar hope restored in your love life. Um, could be a Sagittarius coming through. For you, but if this is not a Sagittarius coming through for you, I feel like, you know, Sagittarius, you're ready to get out there. You're ready to date. You're ready to see what's going on. Um, you, if you're in a relationship or you're just dating somebody, I feel like you two are ready to get moving. You're ready to do stuff together. You're ready to re-spark the spark. Um, you're ready to, you know, you may be going out on a date. You may be exploring with your person. So, um, definitely a very good combination of um, being sexual for a lot of you Sagittariuses. So let's see your person's energy spirit for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. Who are my Sagittariuses connecting to? Spirit for my Sagittariuses, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Who are they connecting to? Sagittarius, somebody is very attractive to, attracted towards you. And I feel like you're just as attracted to them as well. So for my Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus... All right, we have the Five of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, and the Ace of Swords. Ooh, Sagittarius. I feel like the person that you've been dealing with has been feeling very neglected from this connection, or they have recently just gone through an ending, or they could have ghosted you, you could have ghosted them with this Five of Pentacles here. 
But they've been feeling very neglected from their love life. They've been feeling very left out. They may have even lost their job here. But Sagittarius, this person is hurt. They may be hurt over you. Um, or they may be hurt over somebody else. I really feel like, you know, Sagittarius, you're definitely connecting with somebody who's just been going through it. Or, you know, um, you may have put them through it. Or they may have put you through it, you know. But we do have the Ace of Swords here. So new communication is coming from this person. So Sagittarius, if you ghosted them or they ghosted you, you hurt them, they hurt you. They are reaching out here. Sagittarius, somebody's reaching out. I feel like this person is your wish. I feel like this person is your star. That you're, You really hope for this person. So let's get the mutual energy. Um, for others of you Sagittariuses, you definitely can be connecting with somebody who just went through an ending, who just got hurt, and they are finding victory with you. They're finding hope with you. They're really, really... Um, cutting through this hurt and feeling powerful again because they have met you. So let's clarify this energy here for Sagittarius. For others of you Sagittarius, this person, I don't know what's going on with them. They are really not feeling it, but they're about to feel okay. But something happened to them in the past that either you caused or they may have caused this for you. Let's see. We have strength here. The three of cups and the queen of cups yeah so i feel like you know for a lot of you sagittarius is somebody ghosted somebody or somebody just left the other person out maybe there actually was closure but you both have been pulling back from each other but there is going to be a reconciliation this may have been a friend of yours as well here sagittarius um or this could have just been like a fling that really caused pain to one of you um, because I do feel like one of your, one of you are really upset. It's so weird because, um, I do feel like, you know, I, Sagittarius, you're on this side, they're on this side, but I'm really feeling for a lot of you Sagittarius, you may be resonating with this side instead of this side. And I feel like you, um, I hate to say it, but some of you Sagittarius, you have hope and you have wishes for a player or you have hope and you have wish for somebody who is all over the place. Somebody who kind of really didn't never took you that seriously here. Or they are looking at you this way. That they have emotions or they have hope for a Sagittarius who doesn't want to commit to them. But they have hope still. They still want to have hope. They still want to reconcile with you. And you to them as well with this Three of Cups. So definitely a reconciliation happening for a lot of you Sagittariuses. Um, Sagittarius, if this is a new person, you could be meeting them out for sure, for sure meeting them out with that Three of Cups in the middle. I feel like you both are contemplating if you want to open up emotionally again or at all in general with this Queen of Cups. Could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but there's definitely some vulnerability or some sensitivity with this person or... You've just been very emotionally burned that you're feeling sensitive and vulnerable or not really wanting to let anybody into your emotional body to avoid being vulnerable. But I feel like you both are going to meet each other and it's going to be like, wow, where have you been all my life? This person is going to really be like, wow, where has Sagittarius been? Um... So I feel like Sagittarius, yeah, this is one of the people you may be connecting to, but I feel like you may have other people coming your way. Um, for others of you Sagittarius, is, like I said, in connection or reconciling with somebody from the past, I feel like there's going to be communication, there's going to be healing, but there's still some sort of contemplation on emotion because I feel like possibly one or both of you were players or just very action-oriented all over the place, not really committal. So let's get a, a Moonology card here for my Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. So you're definitely hearing from somebody or you're definitely meeting somebody this weekend, Sagittarius. And you're going to be feeling victorious. So we have you and your loved ones are safe, new moon, and cancer. Could be dealing with a cancer. Whenever this card comes out, I always pull another one because, yes, that's amazing confirmation. 
um, that we're all help, happy and healthy. But let's get something um, more towards the advice or guidance side of things for Sagittarius. All right, and we have a new romantic cycle begins. New moon in Libra. And that's beautiful energy. Could be dealing with a Libra. Yeah, I see a new cycle beginning no matter what because I see a reconciliation happening or you're meeting somebody and it's going to bring a lot of joy, a lot of happiness, a lot of hope is going to re be restored for you in your love life here, Sagittarius. Absolutely new communication coming in. And I feel like, Sagittarius, a lot of you, it's from somebody that abandoned you or you abandoned them or it was like mutual abandonment or something but they're reaching out to you Sagittarius they want to talk to you they want to see what's going on and I feel like Sagittarius this is you you're just like exploring you're seeing what's up dating around and that's why I feel like some of you Sagittarius may already be on your horse exploring um and this is just one of the energies that's coming your way um, definitely meeting this person out for my single Sagittarius is that are not resonating with um, mending with your person or mending with somebody from the past. But there's definitely a lot of healing energy and a lot of joyful energy after a lot of hurt and sadness. But Sagittarius, you got a lot of wish fulfillment coming your end. I really feel like this person is very, um, was very hurt. I feel like Sagittarius, you've been working on healing for quite some time. But, yeah, there's definitely um, new communication coming in, which is going to cause this new romantic cycle for you. Definitely a lot of conversation for Sagittarius. And you got people coming in for you, Sagittarius. I feel like you're going to be feeling good about this. So, thank you for being here, Sagittarius. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. And that's what we have here for the weekend love readings. I hope you guys all enjoyed your reading. Please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And I'll see everyone very soon for the November love readings. Every sign has their own video. And November 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, those will go out. Bye now.